Stroud safety seat belts or personal restraints are available in individual dragster or V-style shoulder configurations with either 5, 6, or 7 point attachments. 9 point models are also available by special order. You also have your choice of latch and link or cam lock release assemblies. Standard colors are black, blue, and red. Custom colors, embroidery, and fireproofing are also available as extra cost options. This is the Stroud 5-point individual shoulder harness latch and link seat belt. It consists of a latch and link release, 3-inch lap belts, individual shoulder straps, and a crotch strap. Our 5-point belts come standard with a recommended 3-inch crotch strap. A 2-inch crotch strap is also available by request. An SFI label is attached on a lap, shoulder, and crotch strap. This assembly also shows the three different types of chassis attachments. This is a snap-in attachment with a three-bar adapter to adjust length. It snaps into an eye bulb. Although convenient for easy removal, we would prefer that you use a bolt-in tab for a safer, secure attachment point. Keep in mind the crotch strap is a critical component of the seat belt assembly. It must always be used to keep the lap belts in the proper position and to prevent you from sliding under the harness or submarining at impact. These lap belts are permanently sewn with a bolt-in tab, but they can be ordered with a 3-bar adapter. It bolts to a tab welded to the roll cage for an extremely secure attachment. Shoulder straps commonly use a roll bar wraparound attachment, although they can be ordered with a bolt-in tab and 3-bar adapters as well. To use a 3-bar adapter correctly, insert the strap through the bottom of the first slot, over the center bar and through the second slot. Wrap the strap around the roll bar and pass the strap back through the bottom of the second slot, over the center bar and through the first slot. To secure the attachment, pass the strap over the 3 bar and back through the second slot. This last step locks the strap into place and is very important. With a latch and link release, lap belt tension is adjusted with pull down straps only. Cam lock systems can use pull down or pull up tension adjustment depending on your particular application. Shoulder straps always use pull-down tension adjustment. The initial fitting of individual shoulder straps is done with the three-bar adapter where the strap attaches to the roll cage. This will also be the case if your system uses three-bar adapters on the lap and crotch straps. Once you are seated and buckled in, the shoulder straps are tightened with the pull-down straps as shown. All Stroud safety seat belts feature a positioning chest strap. This strap keeps the shoulder straps in the proper position to maximize their effectiveness in an impact. It attaches with Velcro and is easily removed when exiting the vehicle. To fasten a latch and link release, pass the latch tab of the right lap strap through the right shoulder attachment tab, then the crotch strap tab, then the left shoulder tab and into the opening of the link assembly. Push down on the lever to hook the latch tab. Continue to push down on the lever until it snaps into the closed position. To fasten the latch and link with arm restraints, pass the latch tab of the right lap strap through the right arm restraint tab first, then the right shoulder attachment tab, the crotch strap tab, then the left shoulder tab through the left arm restraint tab into the opening of the link assembly. This is a Stroud Safety 6-point cam lock seat belt system. This assembly has V-style shoulder straps. The shoulder strap is one piece that passes through a bolt-in tab at the top, which is mounted to the roll cage 4 to 5 inches behind the driver's head. These lap belts feature pull-down adjusters, but cam lock systems can also use pull-up adjusters if required. There are two crotch straps, which makes this a six-point system. The straps pass under each leg and fasten to the chassis with bolt-in tabs. The cam lock releases by twisting the knob in either direction. 
All straps release except where the cam lock is permanently attached to the right shoulder strap. To fasten a cam lock system, first note that the cam device is permanently attached to the right shoulder strap. First, snap the left shoulder strap into the cam lock. Then pass the latch tab of the right lap strap through the loop tab of the right crotch strap and snap into the cam lock. Next, pass the latch tab of the left lap strap through the loop tab of the left crotch strap and snap into the cam lock. After all straps are secured to the cam lock, firmly tighten the pull down tensioners on the shoulder and lap straps. When fastening a cam lock system using arm restraints, first attach the left shoulder strap. Then pass the latch tab of the right lap strap through the right arm restraint loop. Then through the loop tab of the right crotch strap and snap into the cam lock. Same with the left side. Pass the latch tab of the left lap strap through the left arm restraint loop, then through the loop tab of the left crotch strap and snap into the cam lock. When the cam lock is released, all the straps come free except where the cam device is permanently attached to the right shoulder strap. For your safety, do not make any modifications to the system. This is an example where an actual customer of ours sewed his arm restraint to the lap belt strap. If there was a fire, it would be very difficult to exit the vehicle since the arm restraint is tied to the lap strap which is attached to the roll cage or chassis. Remember, seconds count in an emergency and could be the difference between walking away or being severely burned or injured. This is the Stroud 5-point individual shoulder harness seatbelt with the cam lock release system. On the 5-point cam lock seatbelt, the cam lock is permanently attached to the crotch strap. This is the Stroud 7-point dragster style shoulder harness seatbelt with the cam lock release system. The dragster style shoulder harness wraps around a horizontal roll bar tube behind the driver's head as shown. A seven point system has a third crotch strap that primarily keeps the shoulder straps tight and the lap straps properly positioned in an impact. Five point seat belts are by far the most popular. However, many sanctioning bodies are beginning to require six and seven point designs. Quite simply, the more extreme the racing environment in terms of speed and track conditions, the more straps. Six-point systems, as shown previously, provide more restraint in the lap area to keep the driver firmly positioned in the seat. Additionally, a seven-point seat belt adds to the integrity of the restraint by adding additional support to the lap area and assuring the positioning and effectiveness of the shoulder harness. Seven-point systems are very popular with Bonneville-type land speed vehicles. We do have nine point systems, which adds an additional shoulder strap. These systems are special order and require consultation to meet the needs of your application. This is how a six point system would look installed in a racing seat. Slots are designed in the seat for proper fitting and attachment of the seat belt. When fitting the shoulder straps, make sure the adjusters before tightening are positioned at the lower part of the chest. This is so there is plenty of room to tighten the pull down straps. Lap straps pass through the corresponding slots in the seat as shown. Make sure there is enough clearance to tighten the pull down adjusters on the lap straps. If not, you may require pull up adjusters. Note that all crotch straps for five, six, or seven point systems need to be fit using the three bar adjuster during installation. They cannot be adjusted once you are strapping in for a race. Lap belts and crotch straps on a six-point system are mounted outside the sides of the seat at approximately a 45 degree angle to the seat as shown. They can attach to the same point or at separate points. On a seven-point system, the seventh strap mounts to a point forward of the seat in line with the angle of the shoulder straps. With a five-point system, the crotch strap mounts back under the seat as shown. For more information, we recommend that you refer to our seatbelt installation guide available for download on our website. 
Please call us if you have any questions about what type of seatbelt application may be best for you or if you have any questions about the installation or operation of your restraint system. Your safety and satisfaction are very important to us. Also, be sure to visit our website to see all the products and equipment available and the latest news from Stroud Safety.